the Philadelphia Eagles and the New Orleans Saints. The Eagles are a point favorite. The Eagles coming off a gut punch of a loss. That game was over against Atlanta on Monday night. You have, you're have you up three. You're deep in Atlanta territory. You're in, the, you're in the red zone. The game is over. And then Saquon drops the ball. And then the Eagles decide. Now, I watch a lot of football, but I don't claim to be an expert on it. I'm sure all of you out, out of there watch football. I have never seen a prevent defense ever working. I can't think of one time in my entire time of watching football. Even the, I, again, I'm not the smartest guy, but even I can tell that the prevent defense does not work. And I don't know why Nick Sirianni decided late in this game, let's just have a prevent defense and let's just let the Falcons go all the way down the field. Just boom, 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 boom. Cousins was just a master at the end of that game there. And but it helped because the Eagles were not playing defense at all. The prevent defense never works. The prevent defense prevents wins, okay? So that was stupid there. The Eagles just again, with a to- terrible loss. The Eagles fans that I listen to on social media that I follow are ready to throw Nick Sirianni to the Wolves. They're sick of this guy considering everything that happened at the end of last season, the collapse there. And now this, it just keeps it just keeps getting worse and worse. And you, th- th- that's the last thing you want to see for this team is after the collapse last year, you wanted them to start off strong. And they did last week, but then this game reminded you of all of the all the worst case scenario that could happen. But it reminded you of it last year. And that's not good. You don't want to be reminded of that. So and then the Hurts interception at the end just was the final thing there. Applying no pressure to cousins there at the end of the game. Just bad. The Saints, sorry I took up too much time talking about the Eagles, but I had to set that up here because I do want to talk about the Saints. Eagles take on the Saints here. And all of us on Sunday watching the Saints Cowboys game all had the same thought. We all looked at each other and we all said, are the Saints actually good? Because between in the last two games, this offense looks as explosive as any offense. This looks like 2018 Kansas City Chiefs. I know that might be an exaggeration, but their offense right now is on fire. Between Derek Carr, who looks reinvigorated, he looks like 2016 Carr. Like he, he's throwing the deep ball well. He keeps getting these great passes, these great completions. Kamara. Four touchdowns. He looked electric. His second career four touchdown game. It's incredible right now watching this New Orleans team. I mean, you have Kamara, you have Shahid. You have 91 points in the first two games, and you just have an offense that just keeps going and going and going. Kubiak, the offensive coordinator for this team, Kirk Kubiak, he's going to be a head coach, I feel like, next year. Just looking at the way this offense is running right now, if he keeps this up, and maybe it's too early to say that after two games that all oh, the Saints are going to have all these great things because they could lose. They could get blown out against the Eagles and everything could turn around. But it just seems like right now, it seems like they have all the pieces there. It just seems like the offense, I don't, I'm, they're not going to score 45 points every week, but it just seems like they have an offense right now that looks good, that looks fantastic. It's just a matter of, can anyone be able to figure this team out? Can anyone stop them in the uh, when they look at the film? I don't know if that's going to happen here, but that was an impressive one. That was the most impressive one we've seen so far in the first two weeks. To go in against Dallas, who just beat up on Cleveland. Dallas is a contending team. And for New Orleans to get in there and just blow the doors off them in Dallas, that was about as impressive as a thing as I saw all weekend long. So credit to the Saints. And maybe things are on the up and up here. And you know what? I'm going to roll with the hot team here. In this game, Eagles-Saints. The Eagles are probably a better team, I would say right now, I would guess, but the Saints are the hot team. They're the ones that are on fire right now, and I'm going to say they keep it going at home. The fans are going to be pumped up, and I think they're going to be able to pull this one off. And Philly, it's going to be weird to think they're going to be one and two, but I just right now I could see this team. I, I, I was Watching that game last night reminded me of that this is still kind of the same remnants of last year's team. And I just feel like between Sirianni just making questionable decisions and this team is just it's just in a weird spot right now. So I just feel good taking the Saints here at home. Give me the Saints plus one to go to 3-0 over the Eagles.